Yeah, I think with um, 147 on the board, how were you feeling about that total? Um, never good when it's against the Aussies. Um, I think we needed a bit more runs, and it actually proved it definitely after the game. I think maybe 160, 170 would have done the job. Yeah, what did you learn about the, the conditions while you were out there? Um, they were, besides the conditions, I think it's almost similar to South Africa. I just think the Aussies were bowling very, very well. They're hitting proper lens, you know, hard, hard lens. So it made it very difficult. But condition-wise, I think it's more or less it's similar to South Africa. What are some of those lessons that you can take out of today, batting-wise, going into tomorrow? I uh, might have to bat left. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, maybe just go watch a bit more footage. Um, they were hitting proper lengths. Um, I've got it for myself, especially up front in the, in the power play. Um, I didn't do my job. Luckily, I came back. But can't be fourth, 17 in a T20, especially not against the world's best. So yeah, I will probably go look at the few of the bowlers and maybe just see where my options are. Did you feel like the longer you had it, the more you sort of started to, to figure out how to attack their bowlers? Um, not really. I think when I started hitting boundaries, then I started feeling a bit more confidence, but not necessarily feeling the longer I bat, I actually almost felt like I'm actually wasting the balls where maybe there's a batter that's sitting in the dugout that can actually do the job. But I just told myself to keep being positive and, you know, show fearless cricket at the end of the day. It doesn't help by going to a shell. And luckily it paid off in my sense for that 50. You touched on it a bit there, but what, what do you think, based on what you've seen today, would, would have been a, a, a par total on this pitch? Was it up around sort of 170? I think so. I think 170, but with that said, I think our bowlers got to hit the proper line and lens, um, like the Aussies did. I, I think we were a bit all over the show. Um, so, yeah, I think 170 maybe would have been a bit more of a challenging game for them. Do, do you feel like there's a lot of upside with both bat and ball up from what we saw today? Uh, from our end? Yeah, no, definitely. I think with the batting as well, we didn't build partnerships, which we should have also done. Um, that also automatically always adds 10 or 15, even if it's just getting off strike. Um, singles actually also, you know, make a big difference. And we were maybe looking for boundaries too much, especially in my case, um, because I saw the balls were way above my runs. So I almost thought like I need to hit a boundary every single ball instead of just maybe rotating strike and keeping the scoreboard ticking. Moving over to Zoom, Tehrani, please go ahead. Thank you. Well, firstly, for me personally, I think it's I'm you know I'm I'm happy to be here because I've only played the Aussies twice in my life, and that was in the World Cup in the stages, the stage games, and in the final. So I've never seen bowlers like this. I don't play big leagues, so this is kind of new to me. So I think it's great to be here and actually have Test games and ODIs and T20s. So hopefully, I get to know the bowlers a bit better. And then for a team um, perspective, once again, we also we've never played in Australia against Australia. So I think the girls' eyes are opening and actually seeing maybe what it's more about, and also getting to know the bowlers, as we only have four or five uh, players that actually play in bigger leagues to get to know what the bowlers do, and maybe even the batsmen if you're a bowler from that point of view. So I think this can only, we can only take positivity out of it, even if things maybe don't go our way. We can only take the positive out of it. I mean, they are the world's best. Um, it's supposed to be a challenge at the end of the day. Yeah, so hitting a runs, like I said, against the world's best, it's, it's always a tick of the box. I've wanted to make a 50 against Australia, not just against Australia, but maybe opening up some eyes to get myself opportunities to play these bigger leagues. Um, yeah, I want to get my rankings you know, better. I am ranked number ninth in the world, um, so I definitely want to show, stick up my hand. It's not always going to happen, but I'm glad it paid off today, especially being on the back foot for a few overs and even past the power play. I'm glad I could have contributed to the team in that sense. And then the celebration with the ballerina. <coughs> um, classy, Matabasa Class, one of our bowlers, she has a little daughter, uh, Rita Bila. So my father died due to COVID, um, and I had a little action figure 
that I always used to pull out, but playing in international is a bit difficult to pull the thing out of your pocket or run or play with it. So, yeah, I was like daddy's little girl. So we both came up with the ballerina, you know, in presence of my dad and in presence of her daughter. Yeah, that's a lovely celebration and I hope it keeps going on. Uh, congratulations on your new student. Thank you very much.